When you have a patient in cardiac arrest, should you be placing a supraglottic airway or endotracheal intubate that patient? This came up because there's two people who I really respect on Instagram who are having this debate, Melly RT and Nick Gion palm toilet. And what they're debating is whether or not your primary airway during cardiac arrest should be a supraglottic airway or endotracheal intubation. Melly's pro supraglottic, palm toilet is pro intubation. And let me just start off by saying that both of these answers are absolutely correct. If you choose to intubate your patients early on while not holding chest compressions, then that's fine. If you choose to put a supraglottic airway in and get your ventilation and oxygenation, then that's fine as well. If you're not holding chest compressions or not holding defibrillations, it's kind of a moot point. But the problem is, is that people actually do hold chest compressions when people are trying to intubate, even if it's just for a second, hold so let me see the cords, or if they're someone's taking a look at the airway during the rhythm check, they'll say, just hold it a little bit longer, I see the cords, and people tend to do that, but that's wrong. The studies are clear. When you pause to intubate, you're delaying the critical interventions that patients need. That's pushing on the chest and defibrillation. That's not just me hypothesizing, that's what the studies show, and it increases mortality. And that's why I think it's important to put a supraglottic airway in at the beginning of the code, because it takes that airway element out of everything, and you can focus on the interventions that matter. And then if you get return of spontaneous circulation, then you can transition over to an endotracheal tube for a definitive airway. So the bottom line is between Melody and Nick, who's right? You're both right, but Melody was right first. I am curious to hear what you all have to say, so let me know in the comments.